there. I'm Alana from Win Win, and in this video, I'm going to be going over everything to do with pre-employment medicals to make sure that you pass yours. Because as you know, my one job is to get you your one job. Now, if you're going through the onboarding process for your first or next FIFO job, firstly, congratulations. But now you're going to have to pass a pre-employment medical. And yes, people do fail those all the time. And if you fail that medical, you might not get the job. Some companies might let you pay for a second medical that you have to pay for yourself, but these things cost anywhere between 500 and several thousand dollars, depending on the medical. So do you really want to have to pay for that? Hell no. Now pre-employment medicals can vary quite significantly depending on the employer, the project and what job you're going for. In fact, some pre-employment medicals consist only of you pissing in a cup and doing a breath -o. But then you get some medicals which can be quite intense, like drillers off cider medicals, or you might have to do a blood test. So let's go over some of the most common exercises and what you can expect when going for your pre-employment medical. The plank. Now generally you've got to do this for about 90 seconds or potentially more if you're super unlucky. The step test. Now basically with this one, you're walking up and down on a little step to the sound of tick tock, tick tock. Now you've got to do this sometimes for six minutes. The longest I ever had to do it was for 10 minutes. Overkill, right? Sit-ups and push-ups. The grip test. Hearing tests. Eyesight examinations. Squats. Everyone's favorite, the spirometry test. And if you're asthmatic, make sure you down a couple of shots of Ventolin before doing this one. Different manual handling techniques and a range of movement activities, including potentially the dreaded duck walk. Not that sort of a duck. It's when you get into the squat position and you basically waddle across to the other side of the room. Maximum functional lift tests. Now these are when they're gonna get a whole lot of weights, whack it into a crate, and you're gonna to have to use the correct manual handling and ergonomics to pick it up and go put it on a bench several times. And of course they're gonna get details on, you know, your general health, your age, your weight, your height, how much you smoke, how much you exercise, how much you uh, how much booze you drink, any medications you're on, family history, and of course, any workers' compensation claims that you may have filed. And look, I'm not gonna go over every single exercise that could potentially be involved in a pre-employment medical because they vary so much. So the moral of the story is this. Make sure that you're fit enough to pass a pre-employment medical because it can be the difference between you getting the job of your dreams or not. Put in 110% and if you need any more information on this, feel free to get in contact with my team or I and if you want, we can actually give you a copy of a common pre-employment medical that gets done by one of the companies that we use. By the way, are you in our Facebook group yet? And if you haven't already done it, like and subscribe to our, what's it called? What's the other one? Oh, yeah, YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, one more thing, I swear. All right, if you need help getting into the mining industry, that's what we do. We've got all the resources. We can help you with resumes. We can help you with training. We can help you with interview preparation sessions to nail your interview and annihilate your competition. We can help you with full career consultation. We can, uh, if you're an employer, we've got your staff, obviously. Um, and also we've got access to all of my eBooks and various courses coming up right now to show you exactly how to get any job ever. So thanks for watching and have an awesome day.